Guiding in the Grand Canyon is just about as much fun as any person could ever want to have. To get to experience gorgeous places like this, it's always been awe-inspiring and humbling. Knowing that they run these trips all the time, but they're still so eager to tell us about what's coming up and just share the experience that you can tell they have so much fun living every single day. He just made it seem as though we were just on a vacation and there wasn't any work involved, even though I could hear him grunting at times and I knew he was working, but he just made it seem so easy and that made me at ease. The thing that always blows my mind about the guides is you feel like you've known them forever. They just seem to think about everything. They think about everyone. They're always there. They've always got the answers for you. A typical trip with oars includes 16 clients and six guides. The guides work tirelessly to create a really comfortable experience for their guests, both on and off the water. The biggest challenge was, was really the camping part of it, but it was just wonderful how oars really put together a fantastic program and made it really easy to organize yourself at night and get cozy, and it was fantastic. Grand Canyon River guides are a special breed. It usually takes years as an apprentice just to earn a place on a crew. And the guides are more than just skilled boaters. There are guides who are great in the kitchen, guides who are true geologists, and some guides are storytellers and musicians. Good morning, campers! It's another beautiful day in the Grand Canyon. Our days in the Grand Canyon start real early because we got a lot of places to see. We love waking you up with the smell of coffee. We roll out a beautiful hot breakfast for you. Prepare those pancakes with the smell of bacon is a beautiful thing. I love it. And after breakfast, you, you break down camp, and every little bend in the river opens up some new beautiful view for you. When you're down in here, you really have an intimate feeling with the canyon that I don't think you can get any other way. Part of the job is to do it all with a smile. And to the guests, it may seem effortless. The work's not always easy, but they do a pretty darn good job of making it look fun. For me, guiding brings such a multitude of richness into my life. And it's just being out here in this beautiful place. It's being out here with some of the best friends in the world and also some of the most talented people I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And then you get people from all walks of life that are just here for the sheer enjoyment of being here. just feel tremendously blessed to have the opportunity to do this. It's made me think about how important it is to take advantage of opportunities when they come up. And this for me has been an incredible adventure. It's probably one of the things that I'll be digesting the impact of it years from now. A river trip through Grand Canyon is a big undertaking. You don't need much experience to take the journey. When it comes to life on the river, between the guides, the family or friends you bring along, and this really special place, all the bases are pretty much covered. People who are taking time to go through the canyon as a passenger have a process of disengaging from their regular work pressure, and after a while, you see the shackles come off and people start to really relax. And so that, from a guide's perspective, is very gratifying. My Grand Canyon is about getting unplugged. It's about leaving the computer behind and the cell phone and just getting out in the wild and seeing things on a bigger scale and really enjoying it. I love being a part of the outfitting business, being in the business of showing families how to have a good time in gorgeous wilderness areas. It's always been a, a real intrinsic part of why I love being here. The Oars guides are very professional, uh, very enthusiastic. There's wonderful camaraderie between them all. They just love doing their job. The most important thing to know about the Grand Canyon by raft or by dory is that it'll change your life. It's a combination of the people, the rapids, the amazing hikes, and listening to the river sing you to sleep. 
It's routine for the guides to hear from people after their trip that this was one of the most meaningful experiences of their lives. It's not like anything I've ever experienced and I've been overwhelmed with the rock formations and just the, the fun of being on a river and um, it's just been thrilling. I, I can't even, I couldn't picture it how fun it would be and this has lived up to it. But I think it's the combination of the excitement and then the quiet and the peace and the soundlessness and then just the uh, amazing amount of things to look at and how the canyon changes every few minutes. Not only the water, but what we're looking at. It really is, it's, it's larger and more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. There's nothing else that I can think of that it would compare to. I guess the thing that rivers have taught me is to focus in on the big picture, and that's the magic of the river trip.